So yesterday was the first stage of Trans Alp. It was uh, about 89 kilometres and 2,800 metres of climbing across three climbs. And uh, it's done as a pair, so you don't really see my pair. It's a guy called Nick, uh, and he is generally quite stronger than me on climbs. So the, the, the theory is, on climbs, he rides behind me so that he doesn't push the pressure for me to go faster, and I'm faster on the descent, so I ride behind him so I don't put him in a position where he's overstretching himself. Um, we actually were quite similarly matched yesterday and then Nick had some fueling issues and um, I'm surprised you didn't hear the supersonic boom from the UK of his legs exploding at 60 kilometres as he's rivering around on the ground with cramp. Um, but it was most entertaining for me and I take a lot of pleasure out of Nick suffering so it made the second half of the race quite enjoyable. Um, and we'd established a position on the road which was with the front three women's pairs. So they were kind of always within reaching distance. Um, and Mixed pairs we weren't sure, there's hundreds of people on the start line, but we had a few around us that we were working off. On the final climb, we came through two really early on. I knew Nick was in a bad place, um, he wasn't talking, so it's always a sign that Nick is in a bad place. And he had a gel, which is even worse for Nick. Um, so we just kept the last of the three pairs that we knew were around us in sight. And I had to give Nick a few pushes just to keep it at a reasonable distance that we knew that we could make up on the downhill where Nick didn't have to worry so much about exerting himself. So, and it worked perfectly. We went past them, 1K to go, um, kind of just put the hammer down really on the downhill and then we're met by a 500 climb back into the village, which we weren't expecting. We're both cramping by then, but to, to, to ride for five hours and race the last three minutes is quite a, a, a weird sensation but um, and it won't be worth it in the end you know those people might overtake us they, we might overtake them but it's just fun and we had a really good day um, but it was a roadie's dream it was fire road fire road fire road and non-technical so absolutely perfect here for day two it's absolutely beautiful it's gonna be hot and um, I'll report back later thank you